So let's get started, Mr. Jackson. We didn't know how they actually started charter school, where to get the financing from, how to get money to make sure that we open our doors. And we had a young man who was working for our bank. He went to his uh, his bosses and fought for the idea and the opportunity to allow us to have that. And look how it has turned out now. <laughs> Got an idea. We were trying to figure out how we're going to open this. There, what kind of facility? Uh, where can we find this? And we ran into a great organization called Building Hope. I said we need a place to start working. And they gave us a nice one-room place that started this whole process. And that one room grew to another school on 141st Street Northeast. So we moved over to 770 M Street Southeast. And so they helped us get in this building right now here at 475 School Street. Always, always ready for Richard Wright Charter School and their amazing students. And so they won $20,000 for the student power grant. If we could have given them $2 million, we would have because the, um, the change and the, the epic impact that it makes in a child's life to walk in these doors at Rich Wright Public Charter School, it, it's life changing. You know, you heard she said we got that $20,000 grant. You know, nothing says love like a check. <laughs> We've sent several of our young people to St. Augustine's University. Uh, the president came in and spent time with us. Uh, she wanted to send her regards, and she asked that the uh, person who was an alum of St. Augustine's University accept the award on behalf of Dr. Christine Johnson McPhail. So we thank her for that. We're excited about what we're going to do tonight, and so we're going to kick off. Some of the donations have already come in, and so I just want folks to know that I need the brothers of Omega Sci Fi. Attorney Incorporated, wherever you are, come on up for me, please. Uh, on behalf of Omega Sci Fi Fraternity Incorporated, um, we are going to donate five thousand dollars to the Washington School, and that's from the local chapter here in Washington D.C. Alpha Omega chapter. We are proud to present, on behalf of our grand bosses, ten thousand dollars to the Omega. So these are, are two amazing uh, uh, people, right? I just want to acknowledge the person that, that manages the operations and the finances that we have here. And she does it with great fidelity. And so I just wanted us to give her a round of applause for being amazing and being the exception. Miss, Miss Santos is amazing with the work and her creativity. So I just want to acknowledge her for her vision and being able to see things at a whole other level. We want to thank you too, Dr. Clark, for your vision. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. You know, Dr. Marco Clark, founder and CEO of Richard Wright Schools. Our time is now. Life has been no crystal stair. 
and every step for people of color and our children who are children of color, those crystal stairs have been broken glass of charred. And the Richard Wright Charter School is not just an investment for the students. When you look at our media today, and you see where journalists are reduced to reading teleprompters, they never get outside the studio and cannot have an authentic voice. So for me, I'm dedicated for the spawning and the birthing of authentic journalists who are ethical and moral, so we don't even invest in them. But then you might have people have their own television station. And the press and your technology include that so our children can have a free voice while you free their minds. Thank you so very much. I appreciate everybody. We're going to go have a great time. I want y'all to hang around. I know the car said eight o'clock, but you know we like to do what they used to call it. Um, the after after the party is the after party, and then after that party is the after party. So we're going to.